Hi guys, welcome back to Less Expensive Fix. So today's video, we're gonna talk about the Colt C1729. That means you have a vehicle speed issue. So many people, they've been changed a lot of parts on the car, but you don't do it right away. Okay, if you change your throttle body and or you change your the gas pedal and you don't have to do a reset or you make your, your learn your, your ECU pedal like you, because you have to program back. So all you have to do for that code, you have to go find out how to make learn your gas pedal or your what they call the throttle body position sensor have to relearn it like the same how when the throttle body got open and when it's gonna be closed if you don't do that and never gotta be fix your issue this is the question if you don't never do that and never get fix your issue because how can i know the car has this issue sometimes you don't have the 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 code engine light code but you need to have an ecu or uh, or uh, something wrong there so you have to find the tools last video i put the tools special tools to scan your EBS system if you get some code like U1000 or in the C1729 uh, C so something wrong with your speed I mean the throttle body doesn't open and close on time even your, 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 your gauge chronometers they keep going on and you go down they go on this fail because the throttle body doesn't open and close there's no way your position this is why I have to find a video there is a video on uh, YouTube you show you how to program the throttle body and program the the, the gas pedal like that you get a, the car start know when you push the gas the throttle, throttle body open on time and close on time if you don't do that there's a big mistake so another uh another uh things we're gonna talk about upper o2 sensor so upper o2 sensor issue it's happened a lot for infinity especially with people install the the or the test pipe and you start have this issue you so install test pipe cold intake spacer for the intake manifold and you do a lot of modifications to the car so the car start have too much flow and what people start do that and to fix this issue you have to take your car to the dyno and program the ecu to pick up the horsepower you get a match all this air come out from the cold intake to your exhaust like that the injection no and you see you know all your, your new information beside that if you never do that this way you have to do upper o2 sensor you have to take the car to the dyno when you put this test pipe on your car or four high performance exhaust or straight pipe or exhaust so as soon as you take it to the dyno you gotta program everything to to collect the air system and you make it powerful it give you more horsepower even the car be drive really good so yeah it's some i've been working for this infinity really so long so i have a lot of issue i i try to fix everything so i fix everything and oh my god when i fixed everything today i was driving someone coming hit me on the back and he ran so my car now have to fix a lot of stuff again. So I need a rear bumper. Uh, my chassis in the back is damaged. My head, my brake lights is damaged. So I'm tired working on this car, but it is where it is. Yeah, so you have a lot of things to fix them. You have to know just what you have to do. Easy stuff. Uh, so. so guys, if you like this video, that was a short video to show you guys exactly what issue they have on cars like that every time you you work on something or even like when you talk about throttle body again we're going to talk about throttle body some people the is not just about to replace the throttle body you have to program the throttle body one more time if you did de de disconnect your throttle body when you add throttle body spacer where you want to change your spark plugs or you change your anything you disconnect the throttle body from the connection sites you have to program it one more time you have to program it's an easy process it's like five minutes to program your throttle body position sensor to know where's your location open in time and the car be drive really good pick up horsepower saving gas 
this wire is. If you change your gas pedal, you disconnect it. And most people, why it happen all that? Because most people, you know, disconnect the, the negative side of your battery. If you know, never disconnect the, that, and you come in and disconnect the, the wire from the, from the harness or from the pedal, what happened? Uh, the ECU program like a short affirmation. So as soon as you put the new one, new ones coming with a new, uh, uh, new uh, what they call electronic things. So we have to be matched with the cost. This one have to learn it. So the car know was is it, this is a new thing, new stuff be added to the car, and the car be be drive again back to normal. And for many people, they change the the injection. And they put from factory to aftermarket to GTR injection and change the fuel pump and all this stuff be added to the car. Some people they add a supercharged, turbocharged, and they make a biggest mistake adding to all that to the car because if you want to add horsepower to the car, is a lot of stuff you have to do to the car. First thing you have to do: buy a new. I do use engine, work fine. And rebolt the engine, open inside the engine, change the cam, change everything to high quality parts, high performance parts. When you add a supercharger, super, super turbocharged, the car be stand to give you horsepower. But if your engine has too much mileage and you cam and you want to put a supercharger or turbocharged, I, I would give you like 1000 money, you're gonna blow your engine because you've been adding stuff for, to, to our old engine we have many problems before that and of all the parts is old head gasket is old everything is old so this one is better to build a new engine with new components new gasket new all that when you add the supercharger turbocharger you can't be ran a hundred percent with more horsepower you're never gonna lose money again and when it comes again to put the exhaust in the car, always guys trying to find a good exhaust to make the car run way better with no problem, with no issue. Because before, I know I keep going uh, from, from tank to tanks because I cannot focus behind because it's like my videos are in the life. I know I know copy, like let's take the video and become copies. This will be talk like that with no, no gain. So, Upper O2 sensor, I'll talk about that, why you have to take it to the dyno, because it's too much flow. So, take your car to the dyno, and you gotta say your car, drive again, like brand new. More horsepower, the car smooth, a little bit safe with spending gas, but it's worth it. If you add GTR injection or fuel pump things, I will tell you guys, you gotta give you the same, how much like uh, horsepower you gotta get, and especially in G35. If you want to add more horsepower to the G or the Z, you have to change your headers. You have to add headers to the car. Put a single pipe, so single exhaust. Put a high performance cold intake from from the throttle body to the front of the the, the front of the pember. Because when you do all that, you want to take it to tune, you take with everything. You gotta charge the same price, eight hundred dollars one shot but when you put letter by letter you get it okay put test pipe put exhaust and put cold intake and take it to tone you gotta charge you eight hundred dollars but when you change your headers or you change the the cold intake you make one longer you have to go and pay again another three hundred dollars so we're wasting money always guys be what kind of cars those cars what can mechanical first the time you get, you know when you gotta take your car to, to the dyno, then put the test pipe, an exhaust, cold intake, then or spacer intake metal for spacer, then take the car to the dyno, like that you know waste time. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Peace. See you next time.